Well, howdy folks, welcome back to the workshop. Welcome back to the heat. Hopefully I don't get too sweaty today. And uh, welcome to another DIY wind instrument. So, you know, I've traditionally done a lot of string instruments and stuff uh, on my channel, but uh, not too long ago, I started getting into building some wind instruments and I'm having a lot of fun with that. And I saw this video a while back, actually published by Charlie Matatiella of Blue, Bo Blue Bear Flutes. And he, he has a video on how to make a Cherokee whistle in like 10 minutes. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna try today. Now I've never done this before. I've only built one like Native American style flute, but he says, this is like an easy, easy project. I'm gonna follow his video. I will link that in the description if you want to check it out. But basically you only need two things and a couple of tools to make this. So let's take a look. So the first thing you need is a piece of half inch CPVC. And let me show you the end here. So this is very narrow, but it's also CPVC has a thinner um, body than the standard PVC. Now let me get this up close here so you can read all the markings on here. This is what it is. But um, if you go to any of the big box stores, Lowe's, Home Depot, and Ace Hardware, anything, and you ask for CPVC, they're gonna know what you're talking about. Now this piece is, I don't know, this is a scrap that I had. It's maybe three feet long or so, but you're only gonna need seven inches of it. So you're just gonna need a little small piece, that's it. And the other thing that you need is a half inch wooden dowel. Now this is a poplar dowel. You could probably just as easily use an oak or you know a pine dowel or whatever. This is just what I had on hand. Um, you can see this piece is maybe four or five inches long, but that's okay because you're only gonna need about an inch and a half of it. You don't need very much at all, just a very small piece. So here is the plan as he goes over it. I'll go ahead and put this on the screen so you can take a look. But essentially you're gonna cut your little piece of PVC to seven inches and then you're gonna drill five holes in the PVC um, the sound hole is going to be a half an inch from the end and then if you come down three inches three and eleven sixteenths four and seven sixteenths and five and an eighth you're going to mark those and that's where you're going to drill your fingering holes okay so I've made a little mark here at seven inches not sure if you can see that or not I've got my little pipe cutter so I'm just going to cut off a piece at seven inches pretty straightforward Okay, I've marked where my five holes are gonna go. So the next step is to drill those. I'm just gonna take some sandpaper here and kinda sand it a little bit. The CPVC tends to have look really nice when you rough it up a little bit. And I guess there's one other thing that I need to do. I've got my, my Dremel here and I want to sort of thin out the plastic here around the sound hole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my Dremel and kind of do this. All right, here you go. Let me see if I can get a close up on that. But you can see I just sort of thinned it out a little bit there. And uh, Charlie says, again, this is using his expertise, he says that you want to get it thin enough, you know, as thin as you can to where you are, you know, you have a thin edge here, you know, that goes with the airflow, but you don't want to get it so thin that the hole starts to go oblong. So you want your hole to still stay nice and round. So I think that's about where I want it. So the next step is to cut the block that's going to go in here. Now, remember we have this, this piece of half inch dowel and this is a piece of half inch PVC, but look, it does not, want to go in there. It's just a little bit too big. It almost fits, but it's just a little bit too big. Now, for the record, I did try a piece of 7 16 dowel and it just passes right through like nothing. So this is literally the inside of this is somewhere between 7 16 and a half an inch. But um, that's okay. Charlie said it won't fit, but what he wants you to do is cut that block. And then after you sand it, it should barely fit in there. Okay. So again, I am new to this, but following Charlie's instructions. He says to make two marks about an inch apart. So maybe you can just see there's two marks there and then sort of draw a diagonal between them that, you know, goes basically the entire width of the dowel. And that's about where you want to cut. And he said, this isn't like rocket science. Like if you get a little off, it's not going to make a big deal, but that should give you an idea of where you need to cut. So the next step is to just cut that. And then this little piece that falls off should be our plug. So now I've got our flute body ready to go 
and I've got the block ready to go. So let me show you real quick. And again, this is the first time I've done this, but this is what he says you should have, a flat side across the top. So you should have that kind of ramp coming up and then it should be flat across the top and then flat across this side. And I just kind of sanded it a little bit to make sure, you know, take off any rough edges or anything. He says, then try to put it into the flute here and it might go, which mine does not seem to be, but he said it might go just because, you know, you've now taken off a little bit of this. But if it doesn't, then he says to go back and sand a little off of the outside and just, you know, kind of keep working with it until it goes in. Okay, there we go. And I'm not sure how well you could see this. And again, this is my first time doing it. Let me see if I can get a close up there on the hole. That's how I've got the block inserted into the hole. And then maybe I can look down it for you. I'm not sure how well the camera is going to pick that up, but all right, so next, Charlie says that despite the fact that this is sticking out the back, you should be able to blow through it at this point and you should get your tones. So let's try it. So there you go. Um, now, granted, I'm no expert at, at this uh, particular instrument yet, but let's go ahead and cut this off and uh, take a closer look. Okay, so here is our completed whistle, as you can see. It's looking pretty good. And uh, let's see what it sounds like. So now you would imagine that with four holes, you're gonna get five notes. So let's see. A little squeaky there. So indeed you can get five notes, but what's interesting about this, and again, Charlie is actually good at this, I am not but um, he says you can actually get quite a few more notes than that because like if you blow through it, but if you blow a little harder, you get that octave jump. And he's like, you can use that to your advantage and you can get a lot more notes out of it. Now, again, I am not the, uh, the expert at this, but uh, something like this. I don't know, something like that. But the point is you can get more notes out of the flute simply by blowing harder. But um, even just using those five notes, you can do a lot. Anyway, if you like what I do on this channel, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video or you might make one of these on your own, give it a thumbs up. Talk to you guys soon.